Hi guys. Okay. What's going on there? My hair's on a crazy moment. Let's just stop. Oh, God, it's cold. <laughs> See, I said I'd be complaining about it being cold by the time I got to do YouTube. It's because the sun's gone around the other side of the house now. It was nice and warm earlier. Now it's chilly in here. Oh. Ooh. Hey Chloe, Sue, Libra. I wasn't sure what I was going to do today. I was going to, I wanted to finish, I want to finish my cat journals, but I can't finish my cat journals right now. Um, because what I need to do next is sew and everything's set up for finishing the sewing on my, sorry, I've got dog hair stuck to my eyelash. Everything's set up for finishing my steampunk journal. So I, I can't really, uh, I don't want to swap it all over because <laughs> I need to finish that one. But I have some rig ivering. So that'll do, that'll do. I'm also trying to finish, I'm finishing a quest. But I'm, I'm on a timer, but I need some more energy. So you have to bear with me while I finish that. It won't be long. I've only got one star left, which means about uh, maybe another 10 points of energy, 40 minutes. Yeah, I've got an hour and 20 minutes to finish it. Probably need another 40 minutes to gain the energy. You know how it is with these games. Anyway, so reviving. I blame Carrie Harling for this, although I've done this to my other one. You've seen my, um, this is a Filofax Kensington. I have a matching uh, pocket size one, which many, many years ago I took the ring out and turned it into a traveller's notebook. Sorry, my, my camera's all over the place today. I couldn't get it to work earlier the way I wanted it to and now I can't get it to work on here the way I want it to. Do I need to move it more that way so I can move it more that way? Ah, there we go. Stay. It's annoying because I need it there. But I can't have it there because to have it there, I'd have to have a tripod. And although I have a tripod, if I put a tripod there, you know what will happen. Maddie will come in and go, wham! <laughs> Hi, Jen, Flurry, Nick, Jen, Cody. <sighs> right. Anyway, as I was saying. So... Harling was all like, oh, I want to take the rings out of my Malden, but I'm not sure if I know how to do it. And I'd already done it many years ago. So I already knew that Kent from Oz has a tutorial on how to do it <coughs> if you have the new style Filofax rings with... <coughs> hi, Mickey. Butterfly, hi. Sorry, I've got a itch Blech. um yeah if you've got the ones with rivets then it's a little more tricky because you've got to drill them out but because i have old style fine flexes mine have the replaceable rings ah there we go okay stay stay 
Mine have the replaceable rings, so mine are super easy to pop off. So I'm going to do it, because I can put them back on again afterwards if I want to. Um, I just fancy putting my B6 bullet journal into a file pack, because at the moment I've got one of those purses that carries my phone and my wallet and everything else. It's not like a fold over one, it's like a big, it's a proper purse. Um, but by the time I've picked up my bullet journal and my keys and my purse and my phone and everything else, I've got both hands full and I need a, a bag at that point and I'm just like, right, I'll just put, I'll just take a bag with me. And I hate carrying a bag. So if I've got it all in one, I can just pick this up and go. Plus, I like my file faxes, but I'm not a fan of rings. So I'm thinking, just take it out, I can use my file fax. I'm looking for my plastic card, which is usually on my desk. I can never find one of them. <coughs> See, I told you I had hairs up my nose. Dog hairs. <coughs> Sorry. D-ring your personal Finsbury. Yeah, Finsbury's got, um, Finsbury has, <coughs> sorry, uh, ha. Finsbury needs drilling. There's another way of getting them out that doesn't involve drilling. But I don't know many people who've actually succeeded at it. Oh, don't start saying bless you, you'll be here all day. I don't know if it's allergies because the weather's got warm. Or if it's because I've had a nap and I've got dog hair up my nose, which is probably more likely, let's face it. I don't get hay fever. I get cherry blossom. Tree pollen is my problem. Cherry blossoms, but the cherry blossoms are over. Cherry blossoms flowered like weeks ago when it suddenly went warm. Um, and all the, the cherry blossoms are gone now. So I've not had any problem. I won't have a problem now until September when the spruces start shedding. So I don't think it's I don't think it's hay fever. I don't get hay fever. Not from grass and flowers anyway. Okay. Let's get organized here. Whoa. I'm going to need a Ooh. Let's not do that. <laughs> How about no? How about no? How about not? super easy to take the rings off these ones that need replacing that are replaceable because they're made to be able to be moved okay. I'm gonna put that under there so that you don't I don't damage the leather it's quite hard to get it under there though but it's worth it Because you will damage your leather otherwise and then you just lift this up and pop it off. Uh, might need a screwdriver. That might not be... Uh, I don't think this one will work. I might have to go and get my other screwdriver which is in the other room. Oh come on. I did this in about five seconds on the other one because it's literally this is what you do to replace the rings which I've done many times on my older final faxes yeah there we go
go, there's that bit. Don't lose the bits. I always put all my bits together in a bag. And then you pull like that. Now when you put it back together, those plates have to be lifted up. But I'm not putting it back together right now. That's it. It does all go back together, I promise. You just lift up that plate and slot the bars in underneath like that and push them together and they knit together like that under those bars and boom you're back in business. Simple as that. I've done it many times with my other one. It's the first time I've done it with this one but assuming the mechanism isn't wasn't actually broken in the first place. Now need to give this a wipe because it will always have grime and grease. Oops, sorry, I'm wobbling the table. There we go. Now if you want to take this off, you just it's gonna be hard to do it. without you lift that bit up over the there's a pip there and you lift this bit up over the pip and then you can just slide it out but I don't really need to take that bit out I don't feel like I need to because I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to do, oh, that'll be all right, that. And now it's in a thingy. Let me just fold that over. that there we go and that's it job done but uh so um yeah that's nice and simple and i can put my phone in there i've only got a little phone and i can put my cards in there and now i've got everything in one place so all i need is my cut my keys I don't have to carry a handbag. Yay! That's a win. Okay, the next thing we're going to do. I had a dilemma. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But, actually, no, let me put this away first so I don't lose all the bits. Let me put these in here. I've got a spare baggie. Let's pop it in there. And I won't lose any of the bits for when I want to put it back together on a whim. <laughs> because you know, this, these things happen, right? One day I'll just go, you know, I want to put my rings back in. As and when I decide to take it out of that back that anyway, I will put automatically put the rings back in so I don't lose them anyway. So. Okay, there we go, that's that done. Why do you think Filofax changed the replaceable rings? Oh, I'd say because the rings became really flimsy when they swapped them from being made in England to being made in deepest, darkest China. Therefore, they break more often. And uh, if the rings break or misalign, people tend to buy a new Filofax as opposed to just buying a new set of rings. Alternatively, it could be because they no longer make that 
type of mechanism became too expensive when they shipped it off to China and they started making all-in-one mechanisms. This is the less cynical version, but I'm guessing it meant they so sold more Firefaxes. You know? Sorry, I'm just trying to rescue a Gryffindor from some cursed ice. And I'm on a timer, so I'm, I've got to do it while I've got the energy. I was wanting to make, possibly, I might still, a glue book. I just want something where I can cut and paste and stick as uh, Hogwarts a mystery. Um, try saying that. Oh, sorry, I keep yawning. Try saying that and not saying it in Hermione's voice or not hearing it in Hermione's voice. Hogwarts, a mystery. <laughs> it's quite good. It's like Farmville for Hogwarts, basically. It, it's got a lot of potential to be an awful lot better. Um, but I've got a Niffler, so that's cool. It doesn't get much better than that. Anyway. I wanted a glue book. I wanted just somewhere I could just cut and paste. And I don't want to use a composition book because I use composition books for other stuff. You know what I'm, I'm like. I like to have a thing for the thing. Um, and then I thought, hang on a minute. What I'd really like is like an index card system, like a Rolodex. Um, but Rolodexes are tiny. I don't want a Rolodex. I want an index card flipper. But index card flippers went out with the arc apparently and the last roto photo which is basically the same thing uh that apparently went down with the titanic so because the only other one that's left is on ebay for about 400 pounds hey vicky so i thought well you know what i reckon i can make one of them <laughs> right because because I have the index cards, okay? I have the bringy thingies. What are these called? Arc things, right? So I'm thinking two of them. Ba -da 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 -da. Happy Planner Punch and Rings. Exactly. These, that's exactly what these are. Happy Planner things. Arc discs. But, you see, I have an arc punch. Which is quite handy. And I'm thinking, if I do that, all I've got to do is have something to put it on, right? If I want to be able to flip it. Because what's the point of having a roller deck if you can't flip it, right? So I thought, well, if, if I could hang it somehow, or stand it up, and then my brain went, ding! And I went online and had a look at, instead of the Roto Desk, Roto Roller Decks, I looked at the gosh darn posh ones. And the gosh darn posh ones are basically just a box. You know what a box looks like. But instead of having a flat top, they've got a top that goes like that. And the discs are in the middle. And they're on a stick. And you flip backwards. And I'm like... Draw. So, I'm going to make one. We have an instant ink box because my ink order arrived this morning. Not that I order ink, I just I just print stuff and they send me ink cartridges. <laughs> it's great. Instant ink is awesome. Um, I've got some Amazon packaging just in case I need it because I want to do the thing. I'm going to do the thing in the middle like that but I don't know if I want large or small discs yet so I've got both um, I think I probably want large ones because I'd probably quite like to put quite a few in here oh it's now officially called rogue ivoring Vicky my class has named it rogue ivoring 
not MacGyvering. Um, because I can make stuff out of absolutely nothing, whereas MacGyver required a biro at least. Maybe that one. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure, either way, that since these have got holes in and they're heart-shaped holes, which means they'll stay hung one particular way, if I put holes in the box and put like a straw through it or something, that'll, that'll, well, it'll be that way, won't it? That'll do it. Well, it, well, that way, if I do it that way, I can have them landscape. And if I do it that way, I can have them portrait. So that was the plan. That's the plan, Stan. That is the plan. Now the question is, do I know where my hole punch is? I did know where my hole punch is, right until I said, do I know where my hole punch is? And now I can't remember where it is. It's around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Look, see, I told you I knew where it was. Do, do, do. Best, best 30 quid investment ever, this. It's a bit dusty. I haven't used it for a while. But I use it for my Happy Planner and my Arc Binder. If you get the Arc Binder, you can't use the Arc Binder for your Happy Planner. But if you get the Happy Planner... The 365 Happy Planner, you can use it for your arc binder. Because one is there and one is there, and that won't fit into there, but that will fit into there. You know what I mean? <sighs> Sorry, McGonagall's calling me. Boom. Ooh, one more star. And we're done. And then I've got all these, which are coloured index cards. And I thought index cards would be a cool way of having. The ability to cut and paste and stick with absolutely no commitment whatsoever right I mean if you've got a book you feel like you have to fill it up but if I've got this I can just I can do whatever, whatever I want and I can put them in different order I can have them in yeah anyway I'm gonna need a knife aren't I so let me think about this I haven't opened the box because it's one of those boxes that if you pull this and it all comes undone. Now I want that to happen, but I also want to keep the integrity of box. And when you pull this open, it tends to collapse the box, which is what happened to the other one that I've got over there. So I'm just double checking. I think I'll be all right to do it this way. If I'm more careful with it than I normally am. Usually I just rip it open and wham I'm done but I think if I do it that way that'll be so there's my ink cartridge that I will need later I'll put that in my spares box I don't need it just yet I don't know how to I don't need that oh that's the same size as an index card I can put that <laughs> look these that come in there are the same size as index cards so I can put those in there and use them as backgrounds um Okay, I like the dots on the inside. It's cool, isn't it? Do you need this over here more so you can see what I'm doing better? Is that better? Hello, Ina. Downside with the happy planner punches, it doesn't punch a lot of pages at once, while neither does the arc planner. There, there are very few hole punches that punch a lot of pages at once, except my super uber industrial two ring A4 punch, which punches about 200 pages at once. It's a monster and it weighs more than I do. Okay, so I'm thinking, basically what I want to do, I might not even, you know, it might even be simpler than I think. I might not even need the slopey bit. I think that's just there for, for decoration. I think once you've got it on the rings and you've got quite a few in there, that's going to be enough. Right, so. Uh, 
ruler because I actually do want it in a straight line for once. I mean, I know I don't normally do stuff in straight lines, but hey. So let's oh, let's use this as a prototype, shall we? Uh, when you need, to, I'm going to have more holes than I actually need. That's okay. Oh, there's the middle one. I'll have a lot of holes along the bottom. I only need two holes and I'll have several, but that's okay. I don't mind. It means I can change my mind later, right? So if I put that in there and that in there, we're well on the way to having what we need. Now the question is, do I need smaller rings? I don't know. I don't know. By the time I put that many on, it's going to need more room. But if it's going that way, I'm not going to open it up fully. I'm only ever going to have it halfway. So maybe I can get away with the small rings. Or maybe I need to dig out my medium rings, which not surprisingly are halfway between the little rings and the big rings. Because that's how medium works. <laughs> so that would be the small. Ah, now that that looks better. I like the look of that much better. So what we're going to need, um, I actually do have a straw. It's in the kitchen sink soaking because it's got something sticky on the end of it. Um, but I have some of those. Um, <sighs> You know the sippy cut things with the pl big plastic straws? Well, I've got those, um, but one of them cracked. So I saved the straw and the lid to use for something else, for others, because they're all universal. So I've got a spare lid and straw. Um, but in the meantime, I reckon I can just use a pencil for now. Just trimming off these snaggly bits that I don't need. So for those not familiar with the sizes we're using, um, an index card is 10 by 15, which is a 6, roughly, uh, which is uh, slightly bigger than field notes. Field notes is 9 by 14. 10 by 15 is a 6 by 4, which is the size of a standard index card. Well, it is here anyway. <laughs> It's also photo album size and everything else. But not digital photos. Digital photos are four and a half by six. Which is why when you take a, a picture on your phone and you print it out on a two by three, it's always missing a little sliver down the side. That be why. Um, so basically, I'm thinking we take these holes, see they're heart shaped holes, so let me put it there and then you can see it. The heart shaped holes, so if I put something through it, I can literally get it to, let's use this, you'll be able to see easier. I can literally get it to hang in that corner so it won't keep turning around or anything, so it'll stay quite stable. And if I take those two bits, and either I can rest it on top because there is a groove there that I could make use of or just put a hole through 
you know if I use the groove there's a groove can you see the groove there's a groove if I use the groove I could cut my straw down and literally just rest it in that groove four by six or a six yes ten by fifteen I'm thinking you could upgrade this by using one of those cheap Indian wooden boxes and a piece of dowel. Yeah, of course you could. But, you know, that wouldn't be rogivering, would it? Where am I going to have... I, I was actually looking at using maybe one of these. Just to make it look a little bit fancier. You know. But then I'd have to use a drill. <laughs> I'm like, nah, it's not going to happen, is it? If I have to use a drill, it's never going to get made. So I need to take this off, the corners, trimming up these bits of cardboard so they're not sticking up in the way. Okay. So let me think a second, what's going to be the best way to do this? And see, if we you do the, let's use it that way around and then it will fit so I can show you what I mean. The executive boxes literally have two bits like that inside and then the rings sit in grooves there and you've got a, a holder. If I use the dowel, it's not going to sit in the box. If I use a hole further down, it will sit in the box and the rollers will sit on the gate. On the gate? The rollers will sit on the bottom and then they'll... F they'll I think I need the big ones. Something's telling me that by the time I put all those index cards on, I'm going to need the big ones. Plus, the big ones will sit higher up. So they'll be there. I think that's better. Okay, so I need to measure with my where my sharpie at. See, this is proper rug ivoring. This is not, we've thought this out and planned it in advance. This is, I was looking at the prices of Rolodexes on eBay and went, I'm not paying that, I can make one. So I'm going to mark the top of the, okay. I'm using the inside of the box as a guide. It's got splits halfway, so might as well do that. So I've put the ring on the bottom of the box and I'm marking the heart shape. I know it's hard to see. I'm sorry. It's because of the way I work. I work all like this. So it's just that's how I will. That's how I roll. So I need to make holes in the box. This will be easier if I used a drill. But where would be the fun in that? 
Um, you know what? I think the easiest way is going to be just to cut slits in it. It's cardboard, so it'll go through fairly easily. So if I cut that triangle out of there, Trolls don't scare me, I just, I'm too lazy for that. It's far too much like professionalism. Uh, sorry, I know you can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'll show you in a second. I can't hold it so that you can see and hold it so that I don't cut my own fingers off at the same time. So you're just going to have to be patient. Okay, that's mangled that bit, that's nice. Uh, so we're through one. Just lift it up off the table to go right the way through all of it. But that's good because if I do that, that means I can see it from the other side then. Okay. There we go. So I pushed it through on the three triangle bits and now I can just do those triangles till they meet and that means the hole will be in the right place. So exciting! It's a bit of a figure it out as you go thing. But it's all basically born of me looking on eBay and going, they want how much for an A7 Rolodex? And I don't even want an A7, I want a 6x4. But I don't think they ever made a 6x4. I think the 6x4s were for photos, if I remember correctly. That was the Roto Photo. I think the Rolodex was the biggest one they did was the B50, was it? I'm asking you like you guys would know. How would you know? I don't know. I'm pretty sure the biggest one they did was A7. Because it was address cards, wasn't it? It wasn't meant to be information. It was meant to be addresses and stuff. You know, back in the days before people had phones and address books, apparently. There we go. something there that it doesn't want to go through. What are you, your fiend? A piece of plastic. Do I need that bit? No. Well, I could make handles, I suppose, couldn't I? Look, I can give it handles. <laughs> Don't need that bit. Got the lid. After all that effort of going through three layers, I didn't need it. But if I hadn't gone through three layers, I wouldn't have known that. Oh, hang on. Boom! Three stars.
flippando. <laughs> Sniping this is so funny. <laughs> Incendio would melt the ice. <laughs> McGonagall says, along with his flesh. Snape goes, well, I never said he would survive. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. I don't want to read it all. Yay, chapter three complete. Collect. Boom. Bat, bat, bat. You want to see my niffler? Look, he's so cute. Oh, and he's feeding again already, look. Let's go feed the Niffler. There he is! Isn't he cute? Let's feed him. <laughs> he's so cute. Ooh, money. That one. He does a little dance, look. <laughs> Isn't he gorgeous? And I've got a Pollock as well. Is that a Pollock? Polgog? Something like that. Pollock! There we go. I have to feed him too. He's cute. He's like a little... He's got like a cross between a cow and a cat. You gave me food! <laughs> and he's got this cute little dance he does. Oh, he levelled up. He loves me. <laughs> Yeah, I hear you snoring, Miss Maddie. I love you too, baby girl. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's that done. Some of the bits are on a timer and you have to do it within a certain amount of time or you lose it and you, that particular quest, you can't redo it. So, because it's for shield points and I need the shield points to get books and I need books to get my puppy dog. Puppy dog is also very cute. Let's tidy this hole up. What's going on here? What the devil is going on? scissors were any good. Maddie, leave it babe. Hey hey, let's not and pretend we did. Please. Okay, now we're in business. In business. I've got somewhere in here a... I know, I hear you. One pen whoops, at least one pencil that I haven't even sharpened because they're new pencils. So I'll use that for now. Should be just about long enough. It might keep falling off, but the straw is about an inch and a half longer, so that'll work. So if we put that in there, and that on there, and that on there, let's try it that way with the big ones. Whoops. Going to be a little bit fiddly and it may keep falling out but it can work for now something just fell off the back of my desk and i don't know what it was the number of the weight of the cards and the number of cards will keep the keep these things straight okay they're too big that's not going to work with that size. Maddie. Well, 
these are standard size ones, which is what you'd expect to have, so that's better. So now what we need is a bit of something something in there. stand them up against. See? Okay. Let's get rid of all the crap on this bit of box that I don't actually need because it's all part of the lid. And Maddie, don't whine, sweet pea, because it's got my address on the other side. And I'll be turning it over to do stuff. So I'm literally thinking a bit of paper, wrap it round, tuck it in, stick some bits on top and we're done, right? Right? So let's use some of this. There's bound to be something in here that I like because this has got... There's a couple of blue pages, see? Blue and blue. And it's probably something a bit more. Ooh, that's pretty. I'll probably use that in a, bit, in a journal though, to be honest. I want something that's blue, but not something I'd use in a journal. So something, actually, something like this would probably work because that's a two pager. that as a consideration there's an oh there's those blue pages I saw yesterday oh that's nice I like the blue and orange together that's nice I love this that would be nice on the top actually let's have that over there where's my ruler there it is I don't want the orange as well. Or should I stick with just the blue bit? Mm, let's just have the orange. Let's just have the blue. I like orange, but I can go off orange very quickly. Whereas I love blue. I will always love blue. Blue is my colour. border and something. <laughs> Crazy horse. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. more possible than that. I might need a bit more than that though. Ooh. That's a bit gaudy though. That's a bit too bright and in your face for my taste. <coughs> Maddie, stop it please, babe. Oi. Maddie, stop please. That's pretty. I'll probably use that in a journal, but this page. Oh, there's um, there's some blue china, like this. Some blue Wedgwood china. Aha! That would be nice. And 
I live right up the road from where Wedgwood was made, so. Nice little nod to my hometown. So much pink. She likes pink. She loves pink. Ooh, that's nice too, actually. But again, I'll probably use that in a journal. That's beautiful. Hmm. Anyway, let's rug over this together. Uh, I might keep that for something else, actually. I think that will look nice on the top. It's got a nice bit of eye-catching colour, and this will be nice on the bottom. So, the question is, is this going to be big enough to just up and over? You know, it might be. It might be. Can't do it one handed. I'm not worried about sticking it on the bottom, I just want it to stay while I wrap it. Okay, so if we wrap it like a present. probably going to be the best way isn't it scooch it over that way just a tad got my slime green prit stick it's a bit bright <laughs> but how can you tell where you've glued already it's green <laughs> and I'm going to cover this in book plastic, so I'm not worried about sticking it necessarily. It'll stick with book plastic, so that's why I'm not being overly crazy with the glue. Okay, that needs just trimming off because it's too tall. like those days when you used to come home from school and make stuff with egg boxes isn't it I used to love doing that <laughs> I saved this interesting packaging for you so you could do something with it I thought you might be able to do something with this yeah <laughs> I'll think of something there we go. That'll also toughen up that bit so that where the holes are, obviously I'm going to have to recut the holes, but where the holes are, that'll be extra punchy. Okay. 
and like that. So far so good, so far so good. The inside of the box is blue as well, so that helps. So I need to put the holes back in the paper. I need to tape that round. If I tape it around the top with a bit of sellotape, I can put the holes in and then I can book plastic the whole thing. And then I can do the inside and work on trimming up the top and stuff. Let me just grab my... You made rockets. Oh yeah. I mean... <laughs> One second, I'm going to grab my hefty scissors. Hi baby. What you doing? What you doing? You're huffing. Okay. She's huffing. I huff at your mama. Huff. And I puff. And I huff. And then I huff some more. And then I huff at you again. Okay, where's my... Where's my sellotape, bubs? Don't know, mum. Oh. I don't know what my sellotape is either. What? I've got masking tape there, but I don't remember. Oh, I don't want really to use masking tape. It's not clear. I suppose I could, oh, I could use a bit of blue paper, I suppose. Okay. So I'm going to trim up the edges so that the paper and the cardboard are all the same height all the way around. That edge is okay. It's mostly the bot the edges where I tore bits off of that are not quite even. Double-sided tape. That will work. And I know where that is too. Double-sided tape. Ta -da, ta -da. Here we go. I just want to stick these bits so that they don't slide about. Let's stick it up into the corner there so it holds around the corner as well. this is I'm having fun doing it the long way round and you guys in the meantime can watch and go well I could have done it quicker if I did it this way so you'll have ideas about how to do it quicker and probably better in the meantime I'm having a whale of a time <laughs>
sparking all kinds of ideas in your head. Excellent. Hey, Risha. And your panda's done. Well, he's got to be varnished, but, you know. And we've got some decent weather for the next few days. That's an easy job. I was awesome at Blue Peter. I, used to, I was the one at Blue Pe for Blue Peter watching it and going, but if they did that, it would have done this. And then they could have done this and that would have worked better because then this. Meanwhile, my mother would have sat there rolling her eyes at me and going, will you just be quiet and watch it? But where's the fun in that, eh? I ask you. Sorry, I put my scissors down on there and it logged me out. It didn't log me out. It tried to log me out. It tried to stop me being here. But no, you can't stop me. Okay, so I'm just, I'm literally, I'm just doing this to hold it in place while I do other stuff because I can't be holding all this in place and punching holes at the same time. no plan I have and no idea if this is actually gonna work or not <laughs> but if you don't make it you're never gonna know are you you're never gonna know and if I didn't make it I would be sat there going but would it work or will it will it work I don't know just try it and see I am never happier. I mean, I'm an artist and I'm a journaler and I write and I do all sorts of stuff. But I am, apart from when I'm with my dogs in the park, I am never happier than when I am covered in glue and with scissors and glitter and bits of paper around me just making stuff. Which is the whole point of this because I wanted, instead of having like an official glue book or something like that. I just wanted an index card system where if I fancy doing um, Daisy Yellow's Tammy, doing her index card day, I can. If I fancy doing the journaling by fives on an index card, I can. If I fancy doing some junk journaling on an index card, I can. I don't have to sit there and think, oh, but have I got my book with me? Have I do Which book am I doing that in? Oh, yeah. And I don't have to feel guilty, not that I ever do, but I don't have to feel guilty sitting there with a book that I made specifically to be a glue book that's got like three pages done in it and then I never touch it again. That's how you feel like flat, by flat, about flat back furniture. I like flat pack furniture, I have to say. I find it very frustrating when I'm doing it, but once it's done, it's such a sense of achievement. And it's even better if you can make it so that it's actually different to the instructions. <laughs> I've done it, but I've made it better.
can you make a DIY Rolodex out of a few pieces of paper, some glue, a printer box and a straw? I don't know, let's find out, shall we? <laughs> okay, what I really need, I feel, is I need something to edge this. Because I think if that had an edging, actually the inside of that box would look all right. I kind of like the blue. I even kind of like the dots. I might colour them in gold or something, but I kind of like the dots. So I need something to fit across the top there. And I'm thinking, ooh, washi tape. Because, you know, <laughs> washi tape. This side is not flat. It's come vex. There we go, that's better. Because I didn't cut that bit even. There we go. That bit's even but the paper's not, so that's okay. So is it flat all the way around? Yes, it jolly well is. I'm so happy. I'm enjoying this. E -e -e. Okay, have I got some? Ooh, I've got some washi tape up here actually. What have I got? I don't think I've got any blue, but I probably got some. Oh, there's my vellum tape I was looking for the other day. I don't think that'll go somehow. No, I don't think it matches my neon green. Prit stick. I don't think it goes with my blue. Got some blue elephants, but then you won't see the elephants. Uh, I'm thinking maybe some of this kind of stuff because it's it's white, clearish, and it's plastic. So I don't tend to use it as washi tape, but it would be a bit more hard wearing. That might something like that might work. But that is really pretty. But it might not be wide enough. No, I think I need a wide tape. And the only wide tape I've got here is ugly brown. It's not ugly brown, it's, it's wide tape. I use it a lot, but it's ugly brown and I don't want ugly brown with blue. If it was a bit nicer brown I could go oh yeah Ravenclaw colours but it's not really mm, doesn't really go and that's the other one I've got which is not suitable so we're down to bits of paper Could you contrasty? Ooh, no. Or not. I just cut bits of this and edge it. What about the cording you use with journals? No, it's too thick. Um, the the red one, the soft one would be fine, but the um no it's too thick but fabric could work couldn't it <laughs> hang on a minute hold that thought Right, here we go. Now we're in business. Oh, I'm getting stuck on stuff. I've got to tidy up here. I've got too much stuff on the floor. I keep falling over it. My big ass feet. I've got some nice lace that would be a nice thick covering but I don't know if that would cover the ugly enough it'd be really cool but I don't think it'd cover the ugly enough 
but I might be able to use that around the outside afterwards that would be cool uh, I've got some coloured fabric here so that's blue and that's blue and that's blue and that's blue and that's blue let's pull out all the blues and see which one works that's navy blue that's pale blue uh, that's blue but it's Christmas okay let's have a look what have we got that works uh, 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 that's nice uh, 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 that's nice too that's two turquoise that's two turquoise that's two purple uh, that's two green that's kind of I don't know the navy blue looks black which is nice got nothing against black but I want to go with blue that blue is nice I think that blue is going to be the best one This is a lot more petrol blue, it's more peacock blue actually than this. This, These look almost the same colour on camera but they're absolutely not. This is definitely more peacock blue. That actually would match that page beautifully. Those two blues go together beautifully. But I think this is the winner, Ching Ching. And it's cut nice and square and it's just about the right length. So in order to go up and over and down, I think I want it about an inch and a half. If I cut it there... I don't know why I'm measuring it against that. I've got a cutting board here. That's why I got it. This is the point where Maddie would give me that You're so stupid, Mother, look. You're so stupid. You've been out to the kitchen three times and still haven't brought your coffee back in. You're so stupid, Mother. How are you so stupid? How have you survived so long being so stupid? She literally does look at me like that. It's hilarious. Okay. Where's my little tub of scraps? So I think I'm going to call this a roller dex. No? Roller dex. Ro. Never mind. Okay. I think I will do the book plastic bit first. To make sure that these ends because these ends are multi-layered I want them to because they've got two layers of paper and they've got three layers of card and it all bends in the middle I think I want to make sure that those all stick together properly so I'm going to book paper it first 
this could be entertaining now. So one, two, three and a bit. It's going to be about there. Rolo decks, yeah. See, I'm funny. At least I'm having fun in my little world here. Even if I do keep rocking the camera. Right. Hey, hey. That wouldn't actually, yeah, I don't want it to do that. I want it to go all the way up and inside. So it's going to go up and then back down. So it's going to be about that depth. there. Did I do it that way or did I do it that way? No, because I want it to go up and down on the sides as well. So there. Honey, shush, babe. Babe. Bubsy. Please with the no. Please with the not. Thank you. Good girl. Coming home time for everybody, so okay, dokey. So deep to go back there. Maddie, stop now, love, please. Stop now. You're being silly. You're being silly. Stop now, please. Stop. 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 So that's going to go up and down and up and down. So now I need to... And their corners off. So, now in theory, when we fold these bits up, they should match. 
It doesn't matter if they don't match completely. I really don't care if it's entirely straight and beautiful. I'm not that kind of crafter. I am a MacGyverer. I just want it to work. If it works and it looks okay, I'm happy. If you're making it for somebody else, then by all means, measure and cut things straight and trim off edges and stuff. I don't care. As long as there's nothing sticking out that I can get damaged, I'm good. Okay. Plonk, plonk, plonk. Maddie's like your teenager. Ugh. She is like a teenager, I'm telling you. She even huffs at me. There was a meme going around on Instagram the other day, like, does your dog ever huff at you when you ask her to ask them to do something? Like it's you ask them to do the biggest chore in the world. I'm like, no. Mine huffs at me like a teenager who's just be asked, been asked to go and tidy the room. She also rolls her eyes at me, which is very disconcerting, believe me. There are many ways to deal with sticky back plastic and tearing the back paper off in bits is by far the easiest in my experience. It might look complicated but it's a lot less difficult than trying to hold down all these bits while you go but um and try not to get it too wrinkled <sighs> treat it like a sticky plaster it would be so much easier if they'd make the back of it like instead of being one big strip it was like sheared so that you could actually peel off bits. Oh, this bit won't come off now. Come on. There we go. And put up. And put up. Ha! Ah. Right, let's get that bit all stuck in there before we try and do the other bit. Get it. Get all this bit stuck first. And that's a bit. That's a bit off, but that's that's on the bottom. Who cares? Who's gonna Who's gonna see the bottom? Nobody. Who's gonna know that it's all wrinkly on the bottom? Well, me and the couple hundred people who are gonna watch this. Other than that, nobody. So let's not worry about it. As long as it stands flat, that's fine. Chances are I'll end up putting something on the bottom of this anyway, because that will probably wear through eventually. Right. But on. off. I knew that bit wasn't square. I could see it wasn't square but I couldn't see how to fix it. Now I roll it up I can see. That's fine. I 
It'll also protect the cardboard from like, if I got, if I put something in here that's still got wet print stick or something like that, it'll be fine because it won't stick to the plastic. Well, it'll stick to the plastic, but it'll come off really easily. Okay, let me just try and flatten this bit out just a tiny bit on this corner. Make it more wrinkled on the bottom so it'll be flat on the side. There we go. I can trim off this bit. Oh, fingerprints all over that bit. That's clever. Get off me. Get off me. Get off. Off. But on. Ta-da! Okay, so that'll be the back then. Because <laughs> that's wrinkly. That's the bottom and that's the back. Because that's, that's wrinkly. There we go. Actually, that doesn't look too bad now. I've got the plastic on it. If it wasn't for that extra bit of raw edge there, I probably would leave it. But I think it'd be quite nice with the edging. Especially if I leave this loose. If I use double-sided tape, I can put it on and then this bit will be loose. So it'll fray slightly. That'll be kind of cool. This stuff is your worst nightmare. What, sticky back plastic? It's not that bad. Okay, I'm going to use my sharp knife this time to cut through this bit because that sticky back plastic is going to be a nightmare if I don't. And there's all that paper and stuff and things. It's a bit of a mess on the inside there, but it's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what it looks like on the inside because you're not going to see that bit by the time the index cards are in there. You won't be able to see it. So as long as it's not getting in the way of the index cards, it doesn't matter. If it's, I mean, if you've done this yourself and it bothers you, you can always stick a extra piece of card, you know, cut a nice hole in the piece of card with one of your hole punches and then stick a piece of card on there if it bothers you that much. But if it's on the inside, it doesn't really matter. So this bit is going to look okay because it's just a triangle. It's on the inside where it all overlaps. It looks a bit weird. See? Nice and neat there. It's this bit on the inside that's a mess. <laughs> oh, I can't get my scissors that side. Uh, there's a bit of plastic in between the two bits of cardboard. I thought there was. I said there was something in there that wasn't letting me punch through properly. For some reason, there's a piece of like shrink wrap type plastic in between. That's what was getting caught on my knife. Okay, that's fine. I don't want it to, I don't want to make the hole too big because I want it to be able to hold. I don't want the spinner to be free rotating I want the rings I want the these to turn on the spinner I don't want the spinner to turn itself necessarily so the spinner I actually want to hold steady so I don't want to cut these holes too big kind of cut, cut them big enough and then push the spinner through with the intention of let's not take it out again until we absolutely have to Which is how I make most things, if we're honest. Wrapping your junior school books. Oh my god, we had to wrap ours. I wanted brown paper. Brown paper looks classy. Brown paper you can draw on with black and white. Brown paper you can make look really nice. No, we had to use 
wallpaper. I'm like, I don't want my mum's ugly ass wallpaper on my books, thank you. It's gross, it's all pompous. Everybody had, had the idea was that everybody's wallpaper would be different, and therefore, you'd recognise your own books. But no. No, everybody had that nasty ass Artex fresco puffer type wallpaper in pampas grass green. So everybody's books looked exactly the same. I don't want my books to look like everybody else's. I want brown paper. You used birthday wrapping paper. Oh, that would be cool. Now, see, birthday wrapping paper I'd have been okay with because, you know, back then you could get, like, holographic stuff and all sorts. I'd have had holographic paper all over my books if I was allowed to use birthday paper. I was quite happy using brown paper bags. I didn't see the problem with using brown paper bags, but no. We'd use wallpaper. That was the rule. Someone had decreethed it that we should use wallpaper. It was probably that same pain in the arse art teacher who used to tell me that I couldn't draw purple trees. Trees aren't purple, they're green. And I'm like, can you see that big ass silver birch out there with its purple leaves? No? Well, why don't you take a closer look while I just carry on drawing my purple trees? It's probably her. She, she always thought she'd do best. It would use wallpaper. Everybody's wallpaper would be different, and then everybody will know their own books. No. That's not going to be how it works at all. Okay. So the best way to do this bit... That looks all right, actually. Sorry, I'm not showing you at all, am I? I'm just whipping it round. See? It looks okay now. It's got some... I mean, yeah, it's a bit wrinkled. But if you get your bone folder and scuff it down a bit, you won't actually see most of the wrinkles. Most of them will disappear. Might be left with one or two in the corner. See? You can feel them, you can't really see them. It looks like broken china, actually. It's kind of cool. Same on here. This is the back now, because it's got slightly weird warping there but again you can hardly see it this is all pretty it's a shame it's on that side because that's the really pretty side <laughs> actually I might put it that way around because you can't actually see that at all you can't see the, the bit where it's you can see it if you hold it to the light it won't bother me anyway so extra bits I've got four of these. I'll hang on to those for book covers. These are just the right size for covering passport covers. Where is the other one? There it is. Oh, I've got a long piece there. I've got another, and I've got another quarter. Oh, there it is. Money at it. These are just the right size for covering passport books. Could wrap your current journal. Oh no, exercise books. We had exercise books and we had to cover them. And if we were issued school textbooks, we had to cover them, but we weren't issued school textbooks very often. The funny thing was, the one thing that really needed covering, which was our homework journals, because we used to have little homework journals this size, um, not dissimilar to the one I use for my bullet journal now actually, a little hardback A6 type book and it had a week in notes on each page and it, the idea was you wrote your homework and then you wrote in your marks on the other side and it was pre-printed with all the school stuff in it and everything and then your tutors, like if you got merit marks or detentions or whatever, it all got written in your journal and then your parents signed it at the end of the week so they knew how badly you'd behaved. But those you, those went everywhere. You could be, you could get detention just for being in outside, unless it was break time, and you were, unless you were on break or on lunch or something, 
you had to have your journal on you at all times. Even if you had to leave the room to go to the loo, you had to take your journal with you. Covering it with smash hits. Oh my goodness me, that's taking it back a bit. I used to go with Kerrang, but yeah. Alrighty, so I'm going to chop this off the right length. Like that. I'm going to stick a bit of sticky. on each side one on the back and one on the front Fold this in half I'm sorry it's a bad angle isn't it you can't see what I'm doing I need to somehow reconfigure it so you can see sideways so fold it in half and flip it over there so that's going to be about there if I take this off, I should be able to stick that down there. Not quite, not quite straight, it came loose on the other end. It's a nice idea. A little shaky on the dismount. There we go. No, that's not quite straight either. Would have been easier to just do it this way. There we go, so now that's actually loose rather than stuck down, so it will fray a bit. Trim that bit off a bit so it goes inside the box. Oops. Joseph and his Technicolor dream coat. I was the narrator in that. Our school was big into musicals and I always got the long part. I never got I never got the I wasn't pretty enough to get the lead girl. And I wasn't quirky enough to be the character actress. And I wasn't plain enough to be the best friend. But I could sing. And I could remember stuff, so I always got to be the one with the most lines, which was nearly always the narrator. Fun! <laughs> I still know most of the words to it. We did the pyjama game, in which I actually did get a role. I was... what was her name? She worked with Prez. She was the leader of the the foreman of the factory with Prez, the woman, the the secretary. And she had to do a soft shoe shovel with Heinze. Oh, Heinze, Heinze. <laughs> and I was the only one who even knew what a soft shoe shuffle was. And I had to teach Heinze, who was my art teacher. He was incredibly funny. Uh, but he was not incredibly talented. He was a good actor, good comedian, but he had four left feet and he was stoned most of the time. If you ever couldn't find him, he was in the art cupboard, <laughs> surrounded by a cloud of blue smoke. And I had to teach him to dance. That was entertaining. Fortunately, I didn't have too many lines for that particular part <laughs> she's just as well because <laughs> i spent most of the time wandering around looking for mr cash anyway
actually quite liked being the narrator. Because she never had to deal with anybody else. She never had any lines that interacted with anyone else. Except maybe occasionally when somebody did an aside. But mostly, you just had to be... Just had to get your lines right so the chorus knew when to come in. <laughs> and I didn't have to turn up for rehearsals because instead of having me standing there repeating the same line over and over again until they got it right, our drama teacher just used to read in the lines and the cues. So I didn't have to be there, I just had to go and learn my lines. It was awesome. <sighs> this is looking cool. Look, I told you it'd be all right. Ye of little faith. Told you. You went through a phase of being wanted to wanting to be on stage. Well, I went to stage school, you see. That's why I never know what to say to people when they say, well, how do you get over your fear of being on camera? I'm like, well, dude, I went to stage school. <laughs> I performed at the London at the Bristol Hippodrome in Babes in the Wood with Frankie Howard. I was Annie for six weeks in the four o'clock matinee twice a week. And then I trained as a teacher. So I don't really understand the concept of stage fright. <laughs> Imagine them smoking pot in school now. Oh, yeah. Our art teacher was always in the cupboard. Usually with some of the sixth formers. And where's the bit I cut? Where did it go? There's the bit I cut off. Where did the bit I... Oh, did I not cut a bit yet? Oh, okay. Ooh, is that going to be the... Is that going to be the right width? Am I only going to need three pieces? No, couldn't be that lucky, could I? Oh, look at that. It blooming well is. I cut it in the middle. It's going to be just the right size. Oh. a little bit there but never mind not the end of the world So, how to make a roller deck? So you basically just cover a box. All of this, and I have achieved covering a box. <laughs> Which I kind of knew that's what we were doing, but would have been nice if it had been a little bit more adventurous but I guess putting the holes in the side was fun. Your teacher used to cry in her supply cupboard. We had a crazy history teacher who used to hide in her cupboard dressed in uh, German military uniform. Well, it was kind of German military uniform. She had the helmet and she had the spike gun. But some of it was Bulgarian from the First World War and some of it was from the Boer War. She, just, she basically MacGyvered an entire outfit together. And she used to hide in the cupboard and wait till we came in and then jump out at us. Can you imagine getting away with that now? <laughs> Wandering around with a bayonet? I don't think so. Yeah. 
your teachers used to quit. Oh my God. Now that's class. <laughs> okay. We have a covered box. I thought it'd be more exciting than that, but I guess that's how it ended up, right? So now, I'm not going to use a pencil. I am going to use, or well, I might use a pencil for now, but I'm going to use that straw and cut it off to the right size and everything else. The straw is a little bit thicker than the pencil, so it will hold in these holes even better. And I will probably find some way of holding the bits on the edge like maybe I can find some kind of screw or something to fit in it so it just looks finished I don't know but anyway in theory I should now be able to put I might still need a bit of something something in there just to I think I'll probably need, otherwise it'll all go like that and then they'll probably fall off the bottom. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens when we add some more. We're not gonna know until we put some more on because we need the weight of the, the weight of the cards, don't we? That's the cover, but we can still use that as well. Okay. That might have been too many cards. So we can't do four. <laughs> okay, we really can't do four. We're stuck now. Well, we might be able to do four if I had a bit more oomph. But I don't have any oomph. So. Oh! Okay, we can do four, but it's scary. <laughs> Will you stop it? Sh stay. Behave. Stop. We'll do three this time. <laughs> Let's not be quite so ambitious. And of course, because I'm doing this by hand and not measuring anything, they are going to not sit flush at the edges. But I expect them to be like that anyway, because by the time you take them in and out a few times, they'll be loose. That happens with arc systems. mad as a box of frogs most music teachers were actually we had a, we had a music teacher all the girls fancied him he was swedish and he was tall and good looking and blonde and he was permanently blushing because all the all the girls all the female teachers and all the mothers fancied him <laughs> Our PE teacher was a little put out. <laughs> Started wearing his shorts a lot more. <laughs> okay. How are we doing? You know what? I think that's I think that's gonna work. It's gonna work, guys. It's gonna work. What I might do. One second. One second. Let me just try and make it past my disaster of a room. No. 
hammer without falling over anything. Grab another one of these. I keep getting stuck because I can't close the drawer because of these. Because of the camera. I'm thinking this will be a little more stable if I do three. And I like threes. Threes are good. I'll put another one in the middle. I think that'll make it a little bit more stable. Yes, that works better. Three works better. Which is not really surprising because the index, the roller decks cards are that size. So two obviously would work fine. But yeah, three definitely works for the bigger size much better. Actually, that pencil works quite well. I might just leave the pencil in there until I need it. Uh, let's put some coloured ones in, shall we? So these are basically going to be my glue book of sorts. Just, you know, whatever I decide to put on it. Ideas, thoughts, sketches, glue book, paint swatches, just anything I feel like, basically that doesn't need to be in a book. Because me and my sister and my cousins all went to the same school <laughs> and um, my eldest male cousin was a year above me and then there was me and then there was my middle male cousin and then there was my sister and then there was my youngest male cousin and then there was their sister <laughs> and the teachers were all like not another scattergood. <laughs> another one. Please tell me I haven't got any more of you. No, I haven't. My sister's not in not in the next class. No, but you've got my cousin. <laughs> oh. It was a bit like the Weasleys. <laughs> oh, not another one. <laughs> My favourite teacher was my Latin teacher. He was awesome. He was as old as the hills and he was a fountain of knowledge. I swear he is both the reason I am extremely interested in completely pointless trivia and the, <clears throat> the reason I knew so much of it as a kid because he just knew ridiculous, stupid things that come up in pop quizzes that nobody else would know, you know. And he always knew the answer. You could ask him the most ridiculous question and he would know the answer. And it inspired me. I wanted to be like that. I was like, I want to know the answers to everything.
and he retired on the last day before the Thursday before the Easter holidays and I arranged to go and see him because we were we all finished at the same time as he did because we had exams afterwards and we all said oh we'll come and see you um, after you retire and he died the very day after he retired he was so happy to retire he was in his 70s he's like I'm finally going to have time to just sit in my garden and do all sorts of stuff and he died the next day literally he died on the Friday and we were all gutted because we really liked him he was a lovely man funnily enough the same thing happened to my first head teacher mm. Mr White my favourite teacher ever Closely followed by my first headmaster, Mr. Long, who was my, uh, up until I met Mr. White, was my favourite teacher. I loved him. I thought Mr. Long was awesome. He had, he had a really beak-like nose and these funny little Harry Potter glasses. And his hair, he was bald at the top. And his hair used to stick out like this. And he looked like an owl. <laughs> And he died the day after he retired as well. He, he well, like the, the weekend after. He retired on the Friday at the end of term. And by the Monday, his wife had put a notice in the paper saying that he passed away over the weekend. Died in his sleep. Such a shame. Especially when they've worked all those years. You know, they're finally getting to the point where, they, you know, they're going to be able to do all the stuff they'd wanted to do. They've done teaching all their life it was what they would love to do and now they're finally getting to retire go and sit in the garden he was going to sit in the garden and sit mimosas and i hope he got to do that before he went because it was the summer when he retired well it was easter and it was a late easter i remember because it was really nice weather so i hope that he spent friday morning sitting in his garden sipping mimosas or at least you know, having a cup of tea. I hope he spent his first day sitting in his garden having a cup of tea because by that night he was gone. It's very sad. I've done it, guys. Look. Do I rock or do I rock? I rock. Now, for the size of the rings that I've used, actually, the small rings work fine, but... Uh, because they, you go round, you're filling almost, um, five to one. If you treat it like a clock and down is midnight, five to one is where the, the furthest ones drop down to. So you're filling, filling ten twelfths which is five sixths, right? I rock! Oh, nice one. I like it. So you're filling five sixths of the rings. So obviously when you get to the top here, they're going to stick up, but that's okay. It's going to be quite thick and chunky. I think I can fit the rest of these in. Maybe not all the coloured ones, but certainly the rest of the white ones. Uh, and then I've got... A Rolodex for doing gluey stuff. Because sometimes I have all these scraps, like, where were those scraps I had earlier? Like these. This is from what I was making the other day. And I put, I put these to one side because, like, I don't want to throw them away because they're good scraps. Why would I want to throw them away? They're really nice pieces. Look, how lovely. But do I want to hold on to them in a little box until the day where I finally use pink in a journal spread? Not really. They're too small for collage, for raggedy bits. Well, that bigger piece might be okay, but generally they're too small for raggedy bits. So I'd really like to just be able to grab one of these. 
In fact, I could even grab a pink one, couldn't I? Come on, we've got pink. We've got pink in here. We might as well use the pink ones for the pink paper. So I can pull one of these out and I can start sticking my pink scraps on. And I can go over those holes as long as I don't go over the, these three holes. I can go over these extra ones, which will make me happy. That will fill in those gaps. Look at that. That was made for that piece. Of, that was made for that index card. Look at it. It was made for that index card. It wanted to go on an index card. And I can do both sides too. Because they're double sided. I've just realised that index cards, I have literally just realised that index cards are double sided. You could also use this for recipes, yes. Good, good idea. I wouldn't have thought of recipes. You could use it for, I was actually going to say because I saw Cody's name, you could use it for Bible quotes and references and stuff. You could use it for herbs. Draw a picture of your herb or cut out a picture of your herb and write the information on your herbs. Amber, are you listening? She was looking for a good way of putting her herbs together. Uh, you could... Spells and hexes on the other. Yeah, spells on one and hexes on the other. Uh, hashtag spot the Slytherin. You could do book reviews. Put a picture of the book and all the information on one side and then write a review on the back of what you thought. Hashtag spot the Ravenclaw. <laughs> you could do art techniques. You could do... Well, you could do any kind of techniques, couldn't you? Sewing samples, you could do paint samples, paint swatches, swatches of all your supplies. Yep. Different ways of ideas for using your supplies. So like you could do swatches of them, but also then on the back you could have like the name of the YouTuber. Maybe the video link if you thought you needed it or if you just saved it to a wash to a to a washi sample if you saved it to a playlist where it's saved to and then what the technique is that you could use if you want to use it for techniques you could play with later washi samples you could use it for um we were talking yesterday was it mara knit cake was talking about make it she makes every time i show them a sample in class of like something that we've made like I made a I made a card yesterday that could actually be used for pretty much anything. You could again this could be used for similar stuff. Uh, but I use I made a Mother's Day card, an envelope. So it's obviously I've not finished it yet, I've got to sew it together. Um, so that's my card for my mum. Again, you could use this for, you could put several pieces of paper here and you could have a picture of your herb or your recipe or whatever on the front and your information on the inside and put those in an index box. In fact, if you put those in an index box like that, they would just stand up like that and then you could flick through and you've got all your, each one is a little booklet. Wouldn't that be cute? Um, but yeah, uh, Mara makes tiny, she made a tiny little one. It was so adorable. It was only about this big. And she had tiny little envelopes that she'd made from when I showed them how to make envelopes and all sorts. And we were talking about maybe making a, a little miniature, miniature junk journal, like a, a little, like the size of your phone kind of junk journal. Unless you've got a phone X10, in which case half the size of your phone. Um, 
you know, just so that you could put your samples in that would be sort of the size of credit cards. A little passport size one. You could do affirmations, yes. You could have oracle cards. You could do oracle cards like this and have them. You could do any kind of information system that you wanted. Um, then there's the iCads, Daisy Yellow. Tammy Garcia over at Daisy Yellow does the uh, index card a day. She's been doing them for about eight years. She's got tons of those really long boxes full of index cards. So I can put that in there now. And then the next time I have pink scraps, I can go, oh, I could put some more on there. And eventually I'll have a whole set of all these bits of paper that I don't really want to throw away. I would rather do something with them. But I don't want to put them in a big box and hoard them until I have time to do something with them. Or until I want to, excuse me, or until I want to use pink. So I think what I'll do is I'll put that one, I might put, see ideally I need a few at the front. If I put some spare white ones at the front, like that, just to, just to create a barrier. I mean, I think ideally I could use a lifter. So I might find a piece of acetate or something a bit sturdier. Maybe I will use some thin card. Like if I stuck two or three of these together, I could make a thick chunky one for the front. You know what I mean? I could even make some with index tabs so I could have different ones. So I could have ideas, iCard, index card a day, yes. Um, Daisy Yellow, uh, Gypsy999 on Instagram she is. She is on YouTube as well, yeah. Um, then there's the 5x5 five five journalings. I can't remember who does those, but Pack a Die, Honest Heart Studios, she does those. I can't remember who's, who does the prompts, but I know Pack a Die follows the prompts. So if you go and check out Pack a Die, she'll have the link. I cannot remember the girl's name. You could even do December Daily or something on here, couldn't you? Or Project Life. Wouldn't that be nice to have like couple of photos like you could even print your two by three photos two to a, a thing or one photo and you're journaling on the back or you could have one photo and you're journaling here you could do your december dailies your project life all sorts of stuff with this kind of system i definitely need a front piece i definitely need to... in fact i wonder if that would be too thick that would be a nice size to do a lifter just so i've got a cover that would be too thick. I don't want it that thick. I don't want it that thick. I want it kind of stiff envelope kind of thickness is what I need. Book cover kind of thickness. Oh, I know, basil cardstock kind of thickness, she says, with a big box of the damn stuff right in front of her. Oh, look, more pink. I use pink hardly ever and I've got pink everywhere I can use that kind of pink but this bright pink I hardly ever use I am a blue girl which is why I've got hardly ever any blue left that's purple is that that's purple as well oh go on tell me I've got no blue left now well I've got black at least I think I've got no blue left. Oh, that's kind of a... Oh, that'll, that'll go. That'll match. I can make that match. I can make that work. Yeah, you could use this. It's such a simple system. You could use it for just about anything. And if you're too lazy to make a box, guess what? You don't have to make a box. You could just use it on the rings. Make a front and back cover and you've got a little book. Okay, if I do, my trimmer's going to be over there now, isn't it? Yeah, six inches exactly. So I knew that, didn't I? I knew it was six by four. Why am I even measuring it? 
I can't believe it's still daylight. What time is it? Quarter past six and it's still daylight. The clock's changed this weekend, don't they? UK. Europe. Our clock's changed this weekend. And it's Mother's Day on Sunday for UK people. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's going to be four high, but if I do it eight, I can fold it over and then it'll be thicker. Right. Eight. Running out of room on my table. Ah, it's not a craft afternoon unless you run out of room on your table, is it? Okay, so how big is that now? That's the six. Okay. So let's do it this way. And if I'm lucky, I should be able to get two, because it's 12 by 12, I should be able to get two, one for the front, one for the back. Woo woo! That's too tall. That doesn't that doesn't feel right. Why is that too tall? Why is it five inches tall instead of four? That doesn't make any sense. Weirdness. I could have sworn I measured that four. I measured it eight and then I folded it in half. Half of eight is four, right? the hell? Oh well. in blue next month so those can go in the scrap box and these are a little bit thicker because they're doubles so let's just whack some glue along the top and sides don't go all the way down to the bottom because you won't be able to punch through it. I know why I cut it five inches because it goes down. Never mind. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Probably would have looked odd if I'd done that anyway. Mm. <sighs> 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 My 
mother of pigeons. Yeah. That's my workout for the day then. Could get six out of that. Could get six out of 12 by 12. I have no idea. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Somebody else do the math. There you go. So now I've got a, a lifter one that's a bit sturdier. That's better. Now it picks up better. Which, of course, you can decorate the front ones as well. Yeah. Ugh, is this card really hard or is this punch not very sharp anymore? Whew. That's a workout. Oh, it doesn't punch four pieces of paper and punches three. And two pieces of cardstock is four pieces of paper. And it probably wants emptying. Oh, yeah, it needs emptying. Never mind. There we go. Very cool. So now I can put, I've got one at the front. That looks better now. Now I've got one at the front and then I've got, I can put my pink one at the front there that I've started already. It's a little bit back heavy. I would say put your spares, put a couple of spares at the front. Obviously, once you've done a few, they'll be flipped forward, won't they? But while you're waiting, just to keep it steady. Because it does, as soon as you put all your cards back that way, it goes, boof. The punch sucks. My punch, usually it's okay. Usually it's okay. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with that. So instead of spending 40-odd quid on a half-the-size roller deck system, I've got a roller deck that's never going to get old uh, and I'm just going to fill it up with bits I've got all sorts of bits all sorts of bits I can put in here I can literally have it on my desk and just stick things on it as I go which is kind of cool and I can use that that's what I was thinking see when I was thinking I was going to need a bit going down and a bit going down which I guess technically that's what this is right it's just not on the box, it's on the rings. I was thinking that that would look really nice going on either side. So I'm thinking I might use that to cover this. And then it's got a really pretty design on either side. In fact, I could probably cover... I can cover three of the four sides. That'll do, won't it? I can do three of the four sides with this really pretty design. So I might do that one and that one on the two that I won't see very much. And then that nice crisscrossy design in the middle on that bit, which you'll see more often. Yeah, I like it. Ba, ba, ba. Cool, huh? And for those of you who missed the beginning, I rogivered my uh, Filofax. I have an old style file of facts, not a new style file of facts. Um, so it's one that has rings that come out automatically. You can change them like a Gilio. Um, it's the same site. It's the same way of doing it as the interchangeable rings on a Gilio. Um, so yeah, if you want to see how that's done, I did that at the beginning. And now I can go and use up all my... I've got a big box of scraps that I have not wanted to throw away because I knew I could use them for something. But I'm just hanging on to them until they fit my colour scheme. And then, of course, you've got stuff that in your colour scheme and you don't think to look in your box of scraps, do you? So this way, now I don't need to have a box of scraps. I can just stick them on there when I feel like just cutting and pasting. And cool pictures that I find in magazines that ne I'm never going to use. You know, I'm never actually going to use. And bits and pieces like this. I'm sad I wouldn't throw that away because it's a, a useful piece. It's the so I wouldn't throw it away. I just wouldn't. So I can put it in here and use it as a 
a collage base. And these, you know, if I, when, once I finish this, eventually what I'll have is a journaling card. So I could do the designs on the front and then leave the back empty. And then when I have a pink page, just pull this out, leave that or chop it off, whichever, turn it over and I've got a journaling card with a nice thing, round the corners, add some frills, whatever, chop off the corners, make a tag if that's what floats your boat. So you could use it for your ephemera. In fact, you could use this, you could use that as a pocket. Anything you can do with a six by four piece of paper, you can collage on it and then take it out of here, chop it off and use it in your journals later, should you want to. Rachel, you know what a filofax is? Don't tell me you don't. You're an 80s kid. You know what a filofax is. So I'm going to spend some time chump punching holes in the rest of my index cards. Because these have been sitting around for ages and I, I very rarely use them because I tend to use half size Project Life cards because I've got a billion of them. A Gilio is exactly the same as a Filofax, it's just a different brand. <laughs> Context, Rach. Context. We're talking about stuff with rings. If I say a, phyla, a Gilio has got exactly the same rings as a Filofax and you take it out in exactly the same way, one plus one equals Filofax and Gilio must be similar things. If you know what a Filofax is, you know what a Gilio is, right? No? Is that not like saying, well, I know what a Volkswagen is, but I've never heard of a Subaru? <laughs> What's a Subaru? What's a car? I don't know. In theory, in theory, but it's you we're talking about, isn't it, Rach? Right. I'm going to go play. It's Friday night. Uh, is Risha still here? Risha, I will be... I will be on Instagram if you want to sort your painting things out or leave it over the weekend or whatever. I don't mind. I'm going to um, you can Google Gilio if you want to, but you'll have to spell it with a G, not a J. <laughs> oh, somebody help her. Cody, help her, please. It's a Giulio Giramundo. It looks exactly like a Filofax, but it's 15 times more expensive. Um, yeah, Risha, if you're still about, I don't know if she's still here or if she left. I wasn't watching chat. Uh, but I'll be on Instagram if you want to sort your paintings out. I finished. I finished. Oh, I've put them outside because they're drying. They're, they're drying their first coat. I finished Panda um, and Yin Yang this morning. So if you wanted to see them, check them out on. I don't think I've posted them on Instagram yet. I probably will later, uh, but they're on Twitch. I'm gonna go play with my stuff. I finished my Mother's Day card and reset up my sewing machine so I can finish my book. And and and. Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, I can't believe it's Friday. I can't believe it is... Yeah, you don't want one, Rach, because Gilio are all, are all leather, aren't they? They don't do a, a vegetarian option. Um, I can't believe the clocks change on Sunday. So next week, if your clocks have already changed, my show will be different. It will be back to its original time for you. So if you've been... If your times have been off for the last couple of weeks because your clocks have already changed, next week we'll be back to regular. Yeah, 195 days to Halloween or something like that. 
I might have checked. Um, April on Monday. Uh, yeah, if you want to sign up for Patreon, Monday's the day to do it because it's the beginning of the month. We will be having a chat on Saturday with the current group to decide what everybody wants to do, although I think we've already covered what we want to do. Uh, I've just got to organise what days we need to do it. So that will be available on Patreon on Monday. Uh, have a good weekend. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for joining me. See you next week.